Hello everyone. In this quick tip, we're going to show you how you can easily take items like this that are a little messy on the screen and make them nice and evenly spaced like you see below. And this works with 2D vectors as well as 3D objects. So to start, we have just a couple numbers here for an example. And these are just uh, five different numbers, just so you can see the correct order. So the very first thing we want to do is start with the first object. So you can place that wherever you like. Let's say, let's say we put it right there. And then let's say we want the last number 10 inches from this number. So what you would do is select the last number, select that first, then hold your shift key and select the first number. Then you can go to your align selected objects tool and you want to click this center button to center it on top of the last selected object, which in this case was the number one. So now the one and the five are exactly centered on top of each other. So now we can close this tool. Then we can select the number five only, and then go to our move selected objects. And we want to move this 10 inches to the right. So we want to go in a relative move and we're going to go in the positive X direction. So we're going to type in 10 inches here and click apply. Okay, so now you can see the one and the five are exactly centered vertically and they are exactly 10 inches away from each other, center to center. So I'm gonna click close and now is where the magic happens. So all you have to do is select all of the objects. In this case is all these numbers. You wanna make sure they're sort of in the, in the correct order. You wanna make sure the number two is left of the number three object and the number four is right of the number three object. Uh, that's going to matter which order these are, uh, just as you see them here. So we're going to go back to our line selected objects tool. And at the very bottom here, you see we have a space selection and we have a horizontal one and a vertical one. In this case, we're going to use the horizontal one because that's the direction of our objects. So we're going to click the first one there. And now you can see we have an evenly spaced in between each other. So all the spaces in between these numbers are exactly the same now. And now we just need to make them nice and vertically centered. So for that, you just want to click this button up here to center vertically in the last selected object. Click on that. And now they are all nice, straight and aligned. And lastly, if you want these numbers to be nice and centered left to right inside of the project, go up to the top where it says align to material and select the horizontal one. That'll make them nice and centered horizontally. If you want them centered vertically as well, you could have clicked the center in the entire project or your F9 key on your keyboard. Or you can click this one here just to center it vertically. And now the numbers are nice and centered vertically. And as you can see, we have another option down here where it says inside last vector. So I'm gonna show you one more example where you can center it inside of a vector. So let's say we had a rectangle like this and click close. Then you can select all of the numbers, hold your shift key, select the rectangle last, and then go back into that align selected objects tool. And down at the bottom, you want to click the box to go inside of the last vector. And then we're going to go horizontal again. And now you can see the spacing has adjusted to fit inside this box. And now we can click center inside of the last selected object. But you'll see if you do that, they will all go centered and you don't want that. So we're going to go to edit undo. In order to center those properly, you want to select just the numbers, click the letter G to group those together, then hold your shift key, select the rectangle, and then click that center button. And now you can see with them being in a group, they will go nice and centered inside of that rectangle. Now we can click close and you can ungroup those if you want to by clicking the letter U to ungroup. And now they're all individual numbers again. And now you can see the spacing has adjusted to be nice and centered inside of this box. So not only is it spaced evenly from the edges, all the spaces in between the numbers are exactly the same. So hopefully that tip helped you out. And if it did, let me know below in the comments.